just for a quick word, when you're looking at, up at the waveform, you, you're going to see three different waveforms, which uh, grossly uh, correlate with the arterial waveform and uh, arterial blood return to the heart. However, I have never found this clinically relevant at all. Um, uh, and so really the most important thing is your, your actual value here. And um, what did the Brain Trauma Foundation guidelines say about uh, the pressure thresholds? Well, vaguely they say that above 22 um, is associated with increased mortality. So you wanna treat ICP above 22. And that some combination of the values uh, that you're getting from your ICP monitor imaging and your clinical uh, exam um, should help you make a decision about when to treat. Uh, it's helpful to take a step back and then look at the Monroe Kelly hypothesis in this case. I'm sure many of you have, have, have learned about this a million times. Basically, your brain is a fixed, uh, has a fixed capacity or your, your intracranial compartment has a fixed capacity. It's mostly taken up by brain parenchyma, but also by CSF and blood volume in a, in a more minority um, proportion. And the reason why this is important to understand is because any increase in volume um, is going to increase intracranial pressure. And there, at some inflection point, you're gonna have a dramatic increase in intracranial pressure and be at a high risk for herniation. And what's herniation? It's bad, okay? Herniation is when uh, the brain moves to a com another compartment, another intracranial compartment where it's not supposed to be. Most commonly you think of uncle herniation, which is where the medial temporal lobe uh, herniates uh, past the, tent the tentorium, uh, into the brainstem compartment and you get brainstem compression um, and uh, it's potentially fatal. Uh, you can also have subfalcine herniation, um, which is a uh, brain from the contralateral frontal lobe under the falcs. You can have upward herniation, downward herniation or tonsillar herniation. All of these are uh, a result of intracranial um, hypertension in a certain compartment of the brain. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from NeurosurgeryTraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.